Hey, what's going on guys? This is Rob with AndroidTechie.com and today I have a CDO Active case for the HTC One. Uh, this case runs around $20 to $35 um, and it's a really nice case. I, I have three of them. I, I love them. Um, this case will fit any HTC One, any model, no matter which carrier you're on, Sprint, uh, T-Mobile, AT&T, or uh, International. As you know, the HTC One is the same device, the same size as, as all the rest. Uh, HTC actually made one device this time, which is nice. Um, the case does have a rubber uh, jacket or and uh, and an outer uh, plastic shell, uh, so you have the softness of uh, the interior, so don't scratch your phone. And the outside is pretty hard and durable, so if you drop it, uh, it doesn't break, and you have some kind of shock protection as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed real quick and throw it on the phone and see how it looks. Alright, so here's the case. Um, as you can see, it has a little kickstand here. Uh, we have our cutout for our speaker, cutout for our microphone, uh, cutout for USB charger, and another cutout for the bottom microphone. Um, as well as a cutout for the headphone jack. And that's about it. There's no cutout for your volume button, so keep in mind if you do use this case, um, you can't use your remote on your phone unless you pull it down and uncover your your blaster there it's right at the top so it does block that which is a kind of sucks but that's not the case's fault it's HTC's fault for putting in a damn button it should just put up like in the center somewhere like just out of the way it's just kind of maybe kind of like the Samsung Galaxy S4 did um, but anyway let's continue on um, <clears throat> so this comes out I think it's really it's a real soft rubber um, it's not it's real smooth it's not rough, <clears throat> so if you pop this on your, on your phone like so, it uh, protects it pretty well. It won't scratch up your phone. It won't ruin the paint uh, or the plastic or any of that good stuff. Um, as you can see, and when it's on the phone, you do have a little bit of a bumper uh, on the sides here, so the glass is protected all so at all times. Uh, the camera has a little <clears throat> lip to it also as well now, so the camera won't, won't sit flush if you have your phone down your desk. It won't sit flush on there. So to put this on, all you gotta do is throw it in sideways, and then just pull this side up like this so, and that's it. The case is installed. Uh, it ain't going nowhere. It's stuck in it pretty hard. It's hard to get out as well. Uh, to, and and it's, <clears throat> it's hard to get out if, if if it's accidental. If you want to pull it out, it's pretty easy. Just pull these fingers down like so, and the case comes right off. So. As you can see, just, just like that. So not too bad. Um, kickstand, it's pretty easy to use. Just pop out like, like so. It sits there, and that's it. Also, you can use it to hold the phone if you wanted to. So <clears throat> it's not uh, it's not meant for that, but it it works. You know, it's in the center of the phone. Usually, they have the kickstand down at the bottom, but this one they put right in the center, which is pretty cool. So you can use it to hold your phone if you want. Uh, you can read all the corners. Um, as you can see, the uh, camera has more of protection now with the case with the shell on it. Uh, you can see your cutouts better. Uh, <clears throat> the cutout for a USB port is pretty big, so you can put a bigger charger if you have the bigger uh, USB wire. It will fit the big one there. Um, headphone jack is cut out nicely. It does fit regular headphones. Uh, you do have enough clearance for the 90 degree angle ones. It will not hit the, the rubber jacket at all. It's pretty flush there. Um, so you, have, you do have clearance, so you don't worry about that. Uh, buttons, they feel good. Uh, <clears throat> let's unlock this phone real quick. As you can see, they're pretty easy to push with the case. They're actually easier with the case because uh, now they stick out further and uh, they're not as flush like they are with the case, without the, uh, the case. So that's a plus side to this. Um, so yeah, the only negative really on this case I don't like is the power button, but that's not the case. Like I said, it's ATC. All you gotta do to use it is pull that down, I guess, and use your remote control if you use the remote on your phone at all. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. It's, it's a cheap price. It's durable, um, and it's not real rugged. You know, it's low profile. It's not really, really big. The kickstand does stick out a little bit, but not much. It's not nothing to, you know, that's too crazy. But they can't really, you know, mold it to a flat, flat, flat face flush the phone, sorry about that. They can't be able to flush the phone because <clears throat> then there won't be nothing to hold it in. It won't be as strong. 
So keep that in mind. That's the only reason it, the kicks in is like that. But it's nice. Um, it did a good job in this case. It does come in different colors. It comes in blue, black, uh, white, and I think red. Uh, it might come in other colors too. I'm not really sure, but I know there's four colors for sure. Uh, the case itself is smooth, but it has texture to it, so it's not greasy smooth. So it's not like uh, you know, like uh, certain phones that are really smooth on the back and it feels like your hands are greasy. This doesn't give you that feel. It just feels nice in your hands. You know, gotta keep you know wiping it down. So it's got some nice texture. To it. it won't slip out of your hands when you're using it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's about it. So this is a CDO Active case, 40 HTC One. Like I said, they come in four different colors. Uh, they come from multiple cell phones. They come for a bunch of popular models. So if you do, if you don't have an HTC One but you have a different kind of phone, check them out. They're really uh, worth it. Um, I like them. Uh, they're pretty nice. So this is Rob with AndroidTechie.com. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them below this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe. We have more videos coming, and thank you for watching.